All right, I'm back. Looks like we're finally able to Our load back in. Was a patient. Oh no. Man, brother, but I am not. Okay, so we need to <laughs> load this one. There we go. Okay, nice. Probably have Much better. This is the guy that has the security card too. Driving me insane. Once he hits up the bathroom, it will knock him out. How convenient. Got the key card. Should be in the catering area soon. You guys copy? <coughs> Miller, Jensen, you there? Fucking stairwells were rigged with trip wires. <coughs> Are you okay? Is it the bombs? <coughs> no, negative. Just some low yield shit. I'm fine. Look, uh, I gotta work around this debris. It's gonna take me a while longer to reach you. No worries. I got this one. Just be safe. And Jensen, listen. We're lucky I didn't fuck it all with the racket I made, so you need to make sure the reception hall is cleared before you press on, yeah? Miller. Oh boy. Cree, Miller's hurt. Bad. I need backup in the catering area. Yo, what's going on, Dad? How you doing, man? Jensen, Christ. Don't try to move, Jim. Help you be on his way soon. No. No. Forget about me. <sighs> You've got to find Brown. Warning. The, the gold mask. They, they poisoned the champagne. Send it to meeting rooms. Beyond the, the reception hall. I tried to stop her. But I ended up here. <sighs> Cree. The orchid is in play. We need to. Uh. You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. To poisoning Brown and the delegates, that's your plan B? Sorry, brother, it's not gonna work. You only see a piece of the picture. Maybe you can save those rich bastards. Maybe in some grand hypothetical future, doing so will erase the damage that has been done, restoring liberty and balance, improving the lives of millions of augmented people like us. But tonight, because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have to. We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy, brother. Provided you don't take too long to reach me. The Cree. The bombs. I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Shit. You gotta stop this psycho, Jensen. Blow up the residential tower surrounding. Sacrifice hundreds of innocent lives that I don't face them immediately. Brown was meeting with members of the UN behind the closed doors. Alright, well.
Why does it keep changing? I'm on target! Engaging! Dark at last knot! Something's wrong, Mr. Jensen. Brown and his guests are in danger. I... I no longer have eyes on them. Marchenko's threatening to blow up hundreds of innocent people next door. Only hundreds? If Brown and his guests die, billions of augmented people... Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly, when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! Taking you down, Victor. I do not fear death, nor do I revel in it, brother. Why do you have so many proxy kits? Because I modded the crap out of my game when relief. I originally played, and uh, tonight, one of us will find out. I'm also on New Game Plus, the truth. so you still get them from leveling up. Yeah, mods mods make a hell of a difference in this game. There's so many different things you can do. Cause I uh, I mean just from looking at this, you can have all of these. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We're Bomb threat's neutralized. Marchenko's down, and he won't be getting up for a while. Great. Leave me the honors of cuffing the bastard. What about Brown and the delegates? I'm heading to the meeting room now, but chances are it's too late. I'll let you know. And that's also why I'm getting a PC. Absolutely. It's so worth it. Oh, <laughs> 
can't get to it. This guy. Oh my god. Oh my. Yeah, dude. Up here. Can't get through there. Now show me directions. It's me, that pocket secretary in Hong Kong. It went live a few seconds ago. Good. Just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. Feel. Wait, did I just get the keypad code? I think it just gave me the code. Global level, on a humanitarian level. Nobody drink. It is funny. I wonder if Prague would look like that. But what they show. I had it replaced. <laughs> it's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? I'm afraid there have already been casualties, Brown. But I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. It's 
strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Kuzma. Hey, are you even listening to this? Live we won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Pikus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. <laughs> for a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent, we can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. Mm. Yeah, true. Marchenko knows things. Put him in a cell, it might convince him to talk. Put him in the morgue, we get nothing. Let's hope his bosses aren't as smart as you are. Regardless, we want the men behind him. A big guy, behind too. He needed a lot of tranquilizers. The ones still out there in the <laughs> shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Paige. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face I forgot to face, that there's still DLCs for this game, too. And I, I have those. Time we met the man behind the mask. Maybe blew through those two games Don't fast. <laughs> what I try to do. We have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors I think? circulating the internet, forensic computer experts were invited to examine the Palisade Property Bank's lava wall defenses after one of its account holders reported an unusual data retrieval delay. <laughs> no word yet on which account holder filed the report or what information, if any, was accessed. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that. Rumors. Between you and me, folks, okay. I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. Okay. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. <laughs> As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic 
are raiding Arc Control's compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong. Arc was afraid. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. <laughs> I knocked them out when I was in Sources their base. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikolatze has gone off the grid and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. So that's just like a wrap up of everything that happened in your story. Interesting. Special thanks to for his dedication and franchise for the work. I'm pretty sure I didn't kill anybody. So I'm hoping that we get pacifist. What else is there? Breach win. Oh, there's a bunch of breach achievements. Breach. Whoa, lock on and deploy the quad arc upgrade of the Tesla knuckle on four enemies at once. Use both knockback and precision functions on the Pep's arm cannon at least once. Find an explosive nano blade shot on three enemies at once while the focus augmentation is active. Fully upgrade a weapon of your choice. Cucumbers? <laughs> what? This X is all about cucumbers. What is that achievement? Find the missing gold penguin and return it back to his colony. <laughs> Enter a classic new 0451. Uh, you triggered zero alarms during an entire playthrough. That's insane. Somebody that's able to do that. I don't think you can skip the credits here. <laughs> no! Boom. Another one. Another one complete. While the credit go, while the credits go, uh, I'm gonna look how long it takes to do the DLC because I think it, if that doesn't take too long, that's gonna be like the focus for tomorrow. Um, mankind divide it. And also, if it's even worth doing, there's three of them. I've read good things about a criminal past though. Dun, 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 dun. The missing link. Oh, wait, no, that's. They have desperate measures, system rift, and a criminal past. Length. How long is DLC? It's only two hours. I already finished it. All of them? Or. <laughs> and before some idiot comes in who skipped all vids, conversations, bought cloak, and ran to the finish, comes in telling it sucks because it's too short. <laughs> Seems like most people say, how long is criminal pass? Uh, 
five if you rush whoa criminal pass is long a good dlc but it's worth it lots of ways to do things differently with more playthroughs took me 10 hours damn and 14 i'd be doing in my 11 the four, first time whoa it sounds like criminal past is like an entire like uh different take on the game or something like that's basically as long as like this playthrough i mean this one was like maybe what i did a seven hour stream yesterday it was about 14. dlc uh that is not the point we should have all been informed that is why we are here now volkart what's done is done the broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Hmm. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact she with She was Jane? keeping ties on him. It's only a matter of time. Okay. Oh no, they do more of this. <laughs> They're like, oh, watch the. Okay. I'm reading reviews about some of these. Uh... So it seems like the only one that m potentially might be worth playing is a criminal pass that has pretty good reviews, according to this. Um, experience Adam Jensen's first mission for TF29. 